Do you know how to utilize this key metric when evaluating lost revenue? Businesses don't exist without customers, and customer retention is key to the overall success of your business. If you want to maximize profitability and minimize the need to spend countless hours acquiring new customers, just focus on establishing a strong and consistent connection with your current customer base. I know, I know, that seems easier said than done, but that's why I'm here. I'm Sissy, and in this video, I'll teach you about customer churn rate, how to calculate it, and why it's so important. Let's go. Let's start by answering the basics. What exactly is a customer churn rate? Your business's churn rate refers to the percentage of customers you've lost in a certain time frame. This rate helps you identify how many customers you've lost compared to how many you had at the start of the period. The lower the churn rate, the better your customer retention is. If you have a higher churn rate, you'll have some investigating to do. Now that you know what customer churn rate is, let's dive into how you can determine your business's customer churn rate. You'll want to determine a time period to measure and focus only on the customers that you lost during that period. Take the total number of customers at the end of the period from the number of customers you started with. Then divide that number by the total number of customers that you started that particular period with. You can then multiply the resulting number by 100 to get your customer churn rate percentage. Here's an example to follow along with. Let's say you've decided to determine your customer churn rate for the entire month of December. At the start of the month, you had 600 subscribers. By the end, you had 400. Here's how you'd calculate your rate. Subtract 400 from 600, so your total number of churned customers was 200. Then divide 200 by 600, which is how many customers you started the period with. The approximate result is 0.33. So multiply that by 100 and the churn rate percentage for December is about 33%. So why is determining and understanding customer churn rate so important? Well, to start, customer acquisition costs can be significant. And if those customers are only around for a short period of time, you're losing out on profits. A high churn rate can also mean a reduction in customer lifetime value. This means you can make less from every customer you acquire, but are still paying just as much to acquire them. Customer churn rate can also give you a good look into customer satisfaction. Perhaps you're noticing significant churn at certain times of the year or an overall poor customer retention rate. By noticing these trends, you can investigate the causes and make important changes. You can try enhancing customer support, evaluating your product or service quality, and strengthening your overall customer experience. A great way to uncover what's going on under the surface with your customers is to ask them directly. You can do this with a customer churn survey. These types of surveys will help you gain valuable insights into what's going wrong from the customers who have left your business. You'll want your survey to be brief. You can ask them for feedback about certain elements of your business and even leave a field where customers can enter their own text with details about their experience and their reasons for leaving. These types of surveys offer valuable information. It can highlight issues that you may not have been aware of and give you the chance to make improvements so problems don't drive future customers away as well. On top of that, the survey can give you a chance to open up a dialogue with a group of your customer base that you may have been overlooking. You could add a field that lets the customer request that you contact them to discuss the issues they encountered. By doing this, you not only create the opportunity to talk to them and make things right, but you also create the potential to win back a customer you had lost. Jotform is an easy way to get started on your customer churn surveys. You can use one of Jotform's form templates, like the customer feedback survey template. You can customize it to your needs and send it to your customers who have canceled subscriptions or otherwise left your business. Then, when it comes time to collect your survey responses, try using Jotform tables. There are tons of templates there as well, making it easy for you to collect and manage responses. Following up will be easy, and you'll be on your way to understanding your customers better and hopefully nurturing those connections. By carefully monitoring and investigating your customer churn rate, you can boost your customer retention and improve your business. Your company will be well on its way to building a more stable customer base, resulting in higher profits overall. Let's review. Determining your customer churn rate is simple. 
Just subtract the total number of customers at the end of the period by the number of customers you started with. Then divide that number by the total number of customers you started that particular period with. You can then multiply the resulting number by 100 to get your customer churn rate percentage. You can even send a customer survey to those customers whose business you've lost and work towards a better understanding of why you've lost those customers, as well as how to make adjustments for the future success of your business. Until next time, I'm Sissy with Jotform. Thanks for watching.